Let's go to Jordan and calling from Tampa. Hey, Jordan. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good. Yes. Uh, uh, about five years ago, I tried to pay some of the Coast Federal Credit Union off. Uh, the mortgage company was going to pay them off. They wrote the checks to them. Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't accept the checks because they said I owed them three more hundred dollars. And they wouldn't tell me, well, they wouldn't why accept we... your check as a payoff because they said you owed more money. Right. Okay. And, okay. I had a truck and I had a line of credit and I had what they call personal loan. Mm-hmm. And okay, I tried to pay all that off. They wouldn't accept it because they said I owed three more hundred dollars. So I took two of the checks and paid Tampa Bay Federal Credit Union off. And it left me enough money. I added the, the money that I had. I went and added the money to it to pay the truck off at Suncoast. They took the money for that. Then they took the money for that because I put the extra money with it to get to pay the truck off. So I have something to try to go. At that time, they have transportation to go find another job. So I paid it off, but I never got the titles. Um, and then my truck disappeared. Uh, I don't know if they took the truck or what, but I never got the title, and I paid it off. I have a copy of all. So the you don't checks. know if it was repossessed or stolen. I mean, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't. I, I you don't know. The, no, I don't know what happened to the truck. The truck disappeared. And how long, everything. How long ago was this? Well, this has been about maybe about five, maybe five to six years ago. I had lost my job. Hmm. And that's when you lost your truck five to six years ago. Yeah, the problem. Have a, you have a statute of limitations problem. Yeah. I would think at this point. Yeah. Why yeah, do you wait so long to? Is this the first time you've inquired anybody about your problem here? Yeah, with that, but I didn't. Yeah, because I didn't have no money for no lawyers or anything. Because like I said, I didn't have a job and didn't have no more money left. Paying lawyers trying to get my job back. And right. I'm just saying I didn't have no money left, and um, I couldn't get no answers. Yeah. About it. I never got the titles to the truck or anything. They never. Well, you said five to six years, so five years might have been the statutory line on a contract. Right, right. I mean, there there are still possibilities, slim as though they might be. What I would suggest you do is contact the credit union, and you can ask for, in writing, for documentation of all um, your payments and all the amounts that they claim are due and all the paperwork. And Uh if they... I mean, this is such a long shot, but if they in a, in incorrectly repossessed your vehicle, then you could maybe make an argument that it was an uh, every day that they kept it, it was an ongoing uh, tort, and therefore the statute of limitations is told. I, it's it's a long shot, but you would have to make the argument that you 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 knew or should have known about this within. It took you many weeks or many years to know or should have known that, that this was a tort. That's the only way I think that you would be able to get around the statute of limitations, but I think... you got a tough battle there, Jordan. Yeah, it's going to cost I'll, you a lot of money yeah. to proceed, and you might not win. So. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. an uphill battle for sure.